a number of our owners still have questions about Lena Peak versus Rich Peak operation. Um, Rich Peak has the advantages, and you get maximum speed, obviously, when you stay Rich Peak. When Rich Peak, it, it's kind of a no-brainer. On these airplanes, you just lean till the hottest cylinder is about 380 degrees Fahrenheit or a little below, and that's where you're at. Now you can run it with the cow flaps wide open, get more air coming through, lean a little more aggressively, close them all the way. You've got to shoot a little more fuel to the engine to make up for that lost airflow. But Rich Peak is something everybody's done forever, and I mean, it's kind of a known quantity. The big thing is 380 degrees Fahrenheit on the hottest cylinder. And now, now that I'm kind of thinking about it, the hottest cylinder in climb and in cruise sometimes are different cylinders. Generally speaking, the hottest cylinder in climb is the hottest cylinder all the time in climb, same way in cruise. But they may be different. And a lot of people will, will see that the hottest cylinder is number five. And they kind of question that because they know five and six is in the front. Six gets the most cooling airflow ever, and it's the coolest. The problem with five is, is, yeah, it's in the front, but it's behind that big, massive oil cooler, which blocks off some of the air. So you really have to be able to figure out which cylinder is, is the hottest on climb and which is the hottest on, in cruise. And before takeoff, what I'll do is I'll just zip over to the hottest cylinder on the engine analyzer. So I'm monitoring that particular cylinder. That's what I monitor in climb. I know all the others are cooler. That's good. In cruise, it's the same way. I'll go to the hottest cylinder in cruise and that's what I'll base my mixture and cow flap adjustments off of. Now, Lena Peak operation, we, we still have some people that think Lena Peak is going to burn the engine up. That is old technology. That's just, that's just, that's just something that's, that's gone away with modern technology. Uh, all of our guys with King Cat Mice, virtually all of them, fly Lena Peak, so with the keen eyes. The advantages to Lena Peak, in addition to lower fuel consumption, is there's less combustion byproducts there to plug up the valves and the rings. The engine runs a lot cleaner. The, the downside is you lose a little bit of power, about two inches of manifold pressure. So consequently, your cruise speed is going to be maybe five knots, maybe six knots slower than Richa Peak. But to give you an idea on a Katmai, we're flying with big tires, less airflow through the engine because of the drag. At 7,500 feet, wide open throttle, 2,500 RPM or 2,450. You know, we're seeing a fuel flow of usually with the cow flaps half closed of about 18 and a half gallons an hour. Sucks a lot of gas. That same power setting at that same altitude, Lena Peak, is running 12 and a half to 13 gallons an hour, and usually the cylinder head temps are cooler at that setting. So, you know, we're going to give up five miles an hour, maybe, or five knots, but at the same time, our fuel consumption is going to drop from 18 and a half to 12 and a half, which is a huge, huge drop. Now, of course, that gives you so much more range that that's why most people do it. So, Lena Peak is good. Lena Peak is the same as Richa Peak and that you're still looking for 380 degrees Fahrenheit maximum on the hottest cylinder. The engines will vary a little bit, but my normal power setting is, say, 22 inches and 2,500, whether it's down low or up high at 7,500 feet. While the engines will vary Lena Peak a little bit on the fuel flows, they all seem to average out at about 13 gallons an hour. Some of them, to keep the temps down, are like 12.5, others are 13.2 or 3, but 13 is a good average figure. So when I'm going Lena Peak, I'm bringing the mixture back fairly rapidly because I don't want to be around peak very long to, to the base figure of 13 gallons an hour. At 13 gallons an hour, I'll make whatever cow flap adjustments I need to make, and then what do I do? I watch the hottest cylinder. And if the hottest cylinder is 350, I know I can richen it up just a little bit, bring it a little closer to peak, get a little more of that lost power back, and my temperatures are still going to be okay. On the other hand, if at 13 gallons an hour, my cylinder head temp is 385 and I want to cool it a little bit. It's just the opposite of Richa Peak. If you want to cool at Lena Peak, you, you very gradually reduce the fuel flow, but it's very sensitive. So if I'm, going to, if I'm going to try to cool the engine down from 13 gallons an hour, I'll go maybe two tenths of a gallon an hour to 12.8, and then I'll see what the temperature is. If I need to go a little more, I'll go 12.6 or 7, but it's, it's, it's tenths of a gallon per hour on adjustments Lena Peak. And like I say, 13 is really a good base figure. The engine runs clean, it runs strong, there's no extra vibration. Lena Peak is a winner all the way around.